I know you fence sitters out there have a message percolating up into your fingertips. Don't send it. Not until we talk the nightmare before Christmas. I'm Mike Quackenbush, and this is Till We Make It. If you are passionate about professional wrestling, and you're never done learning all about it, then I know you're in the right place. Because here on Till We Make It, I make videos for professional wrestlers at every stage of their careers. Except today. Today I want to address those out there who have not yet made the decision to begin their journey into professional wrestling. They are training prospects. They're sitting on the fence, weighing their options. They have yet to make the big commitment. I get an email from a prospect every single week. And I know if I'm getting one a week, other trainers are getting these messages, other coaches at other wrestling schools are getting these messages, and I can tell the mindset of the person writing it from the very first question that they ask. So up front, I want you to know, I understand where you're at. Right now, your relationship to professional wrestling is like my relationship to The Nightmare Before Christmas. You know The Nightmare Before Christmas, right? It's a movie from like 30 years back. It's stop motion animation. Another example of that is the music video Peter Gabriel made in the 80s for Sledgehammer. Or a more current example would be Coraline. Stop motion animation is painstaking work. It involves moving small pieces in minute degrees to capture one frame of film at a time until you've compiled enough of them that it makes a complete whole. And to me, stop motion animation is a magic trick. When I consider what it must take to make an entire movie that is stop motion animation, it boggles my mind. The skill, the care, the mindfulness, the expertise that must require, it's basically magic to me. And to you prospects out there, maybe waiting to send that message right this very second, I want you to know that I appreciate that's where you are at with professional wrestling. When you watch a pro wrestling match, in the same way that I look upon stop motion animation, what you see is a magic trick. And I'm here to shatter that so we can move forward. Believe me when I tell you, pro wrestling is not a magic trick. And don't get me wrong. I am not saying that the wrestling art form is devoid of wonder. That's not my message here. And just so it doesn't get all twisted up, I'm gonna refer back to my previous example. Stop motion animation is not a magic trick. It is demanding and challenging work. It requires skill and patience and dedication, just like professional wrestling. Magic doesn't exist in our world. It isn't real. It's impossible. And if you correlate professional wrestling with something that is unreal, with something that is impossible to learn, then you have beaten yourself before the opening bell even sounds. Every single week, I get a message from a prospect who doesn't come right out and say that they feel like pro wrestling is a magic trick, but the questions they ask tell me that is what they believe. And that's why this video exists. Pro wrestling isn't a magic trick. Stop motion animation isn't a magic trick. If you want to learn how to make stop motion animation, you go and you learn the skill. You put in the time. You do hard work. And you can do it. The same is true of professional wrestling. You learn the skills. You put in the time. You do hard work. And you can do it. I can't promise you that you'll be amazing at it. No one can. I can't promise you that you'll become wealthy or famous as a result. Nobody can give you those assurances. But I can promise you that learning pro wrestling is not impossible. And from reading so many of these over the years, I even know the exact shape that the fears and doubts are likely to take. They'll write to me that they are too big for this, too small for this, too old for this, too young for this, too this, too that. I know you have fears and doubts about this because the unreality of something as impossible as magic gives way to that exact line of thinking. But pro wrestling isn't a magic trick. So let's shatter that line of thinking once and for all. So. 
Can you learn a new skill? Can you put in the time? Can you do hard work? So before you send that message, it's important for you to know this is not really about whether or not it's been your lifelong dream to become a professional wrestler. It's not about whether or not you are hungry enough, however that's supposed to be quantified. It's not even about whether you possess the mysterious it factor. All I need is for you to answer these three questions. Can you learn a new skill? Can you put in the time? Can you do hard work?